Hey guys and welcome to Comfy Cozy Up. So today we are doing of course a reading vlog but also we're gonna do my one, finish up my one project. As you can see most of it is done. I just have to do the sleeves, hem the bottom and put a hook and um, an eye in the back of the, the top. It's my first time doing a bow so I'm excited for it to see. Um, I already know what mistake I made on it and it's more so because I didn't have the right interface fabric but other than that I made it work. Um, but I have another fabric in my stash that I'm going to use to make it again because this is going to be like a staple for me because I feel like I can wear the work, I can wear anything, it's just that kind of top. And it's all the stuff I'm going to talk about once I'm done what I wish I could fix. But Alright, so this book is about a body that was digged up at this store. It's the Heaven and Earth grocery store. So this is my second book from James McBride and this is the book that the first book I read was Deacon King Kong which was a subscriber pick and so I was familiar with his writing style and he did the similar writing style where he throws a lot at you in the beginning. So there's multiple characters and each character that he's focusing on the story, he has a bit of a backstory about them and their lifestyle and their thought process. So you're learning so much about them. And they're all in a community where it is rich with Jewish folks, black folks, and white folks. So this is in this is in Pennsylvania. This is the 1930s. So this is before the World War. So there is a bit of stuff leading up to how things were changing. But a lot of the Jewish people in this community are immigrants, meaning that so they're not familiar with certain custom, they're learning certain things, they're um they're 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 picking up bad habits, but they're also holding on to good things about them depends on which character you interact with. And they are very much the, the, the shoes man in the community, the store owner, that kind of thing. So you know how that is going to, you know, some people, <laughs> affect some people um, views on it. And think again, this is the 1930s. Um, but the story really twists where you are now focusing on a boy and an event that happened and this particular boy um, did something that, you know, set off a series of events. Now, the way the story is written, you don't know, um, because in the synopsis, it doesn't tell you, um, it doesn't tell you who, who, who the killer was, <laughs> who, who died. So it's kind of a suspense because I'm like... I feel like the author is going to do something that I'm not going to expect. But we're talking people in the nut house. We're talking um, doc doctor, a doctor that is just horrible. We're talking about family bickering about, you know, what was headed to them. <laughs> um, we're talking, you know, the booze. You know, people, you know, the legal alcohol selling stuff. It's a lot in this. Because it's again, it is focusing on multiple characters. But this particular little boy, and I think that's why the cover is like that. It's like he set off the tip. He was like, they were all on the ledge and he just set it off with the series of events that happened with him. And you're like, what's going to happen next? Who body was it? That <laughs> you know, it's, it's like giving me that or how, you know, things are going to happen. And I am like... It, it, it's so much that is happening in this community where I'm like, oh, this was a rough community. I mean, we're talking water situation. We're <laughs> talking um, who was getting water naturally, you know, to the pipeline and, and who had to just suffer and deal with whatever water they got. <laughs> That's how, like, raggedy this town was. But I am enjoying this. Absolutely enjoying this. I think, again... If you can get past part one with all the characters and like, you know, get your reading journal. So if you want to keep up with that, you'll be fine. Because after that, you really know who's who. Like, it, it, it's just no deny. There's no like, who's this character popping up? No, you you know who the character is because of certain things that happen with each of them. So again, multiple characters. So again, if you're a person that struggled with books with multiple characters, this might not be for you. But when I tell you, I am loving this book. It is so good. The suspense is killing me because I want to know what's going to happen. I want to know about the, you know, the, the, the crazy house situation. Yeah. And, and it, it also this book is so, it kind of sad in terms of how they were treating this boy because of his death. It's like automatically assuming that he's, he's um, 
he's crazy or he's like mentally not not well because he couldn't hear and that part of other them like oh my god that 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 was just like trifling back then but that's how a lot of people felt back then um we you know we all know that has absolutely nothing to do with somebody intellect whether or not they can hear or not so um we're gonna continue reading this and we're gonna finish that top and uh, y'all see a smile on my face yeah <laughs> all right guys let me get out of here i gotta go to work and i will see you the next clip bye <laughs>
dodo and monkey pants yeah there's some weird names in this there's some nicknames we're talking son of man we're talking big soul fatty <laughs> I mean, they, they were, he was going there with a nickname, but it just gives you the whole point. It, this is a, a town in the 1930s. And this is this is also remind me of my little, my roots because we, we have a habit of nickname people based on little things. And that's what you get with this. And I just, those, the relationship they had in a bad circumstance and the bond that they share in that bad circumstance. And I, I thought that part of the story I really appreciate. I thought it was just like... Thank goodness he wrote that in there. That's the kind of break up all the other stuff that was going on. Um, um, there's just so much in this. And I think um, stories like this is just going to stick with you for a while because of the wildness of it. And I think this is one of those ones that I feel like if I read it again, there's probably other things I'm going to like catch on that I may have missed. Um, because that's how good the story is and how much he packed into this story. Um... But I, I'm here for this book. I'm here for this book. I cannot complain. <laughs> I don't find, I don't really have a fault to say with this book. Because everything was, everything, because there was a part where I felt like, what? What, what happened? How come? And it was just like, oh yeah. Free page down. It would explain. So I felt like there was, everything was tied up well. This was just, just good. It was just good. So if you have any reservation, stick with this. Now, like I said. He gonna throw the book at you in the beginning. Push through, just push through. It, it, it's gonna come together. That's just his writing style, and I think it's unique for him. And and compared to the the other people that typically write books like this, I think he has to do something different. And this is how he writes, and I enjoy it, and I'm here for it. I don't know what is he gonna come out with, but this this one, this was good. This was good. So I'm gonna end this here, edit and. Tomorrow, jump into some Valentine's Day kind of situation. I, I, I'm going to try <laughs> to make so, something I, I, something I want to do. There's going to be another sort of project involved, but there's going to be some other stuff I want to add. And we're going to do it in the next video. So, I will see you guys on Tuesday. So, let me know if you read this. What did you think of this book? Um, and if you had a hiccup, is it the hiccup of the beginning let me know <laughs> um because again i am supporting this book hard this is a really good one and i am here for it so i'll see you in the next one again comment if you've read this or if you plan on reading this if you've read his other book what do you think and i will see you in the next one bye